panel, many congratulations. We really had to work for the result today, but at the end, there's uh, satisfaction. Wow, that was very hard. Really, we have to congratulate our team, first of all, for the effort, especially in the second half when we changed the attitude and, and matched the opposition's intensity and uh, most of everything, their, their willingness to win this game. I think uh, there was a lot in this game uh, in terms of how much it was important for them and for us and the rivalry there, the, that there is between our two clubs and uh, getting back from pretty sloppy start i think it was it was very good for us to show ourselves that we can win games like this in a way that we played today also but also congratulate to our opponent on a hard hard game uh, hardest challenge so far definitely for us and we learned a lot from them we learned about how to uh, play and win these games and also we learned uh, about ourselves and uh, that's something that is very valuable moving forward. And uh, again, we will prepare work for the next game because this is what uh, the stretch is, uh, is pretty uh, uh, getting tight. So we have to be ready for the next game and that's, that's our goal. As you say, Wickham had a lot of intensity, especially in that first half. And yeah, I guess, you know, matching that was so important, wasn't it? In the second half, it looks a lot like a, a big improvement. Yeah, I think in halftime we 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 watched a couple of uh, uh, situations in the game where we could uh, do better, do better. Definitely going forward, it was our issue. I think the defense so far and today was fantastic again. Midfield also uh, great work from the attackers in defense, but we need also um, to produce in attack. So that changed in the second half, that improved in the second half, and most importantly, our overall uh, readiness to match their intensity and, and raise the level which was required so far and, and gave us so, so many good things in the past games. Uh, we, we encountered it in the second half, which was important, and that's, that's what decided the game, to be honest. That and the consistency of our guys to move and, and go forward and look for the opportunities to score. And that's the thing, I guess the, it, it was a 1-0 a game in the sense that it was a great uh, finish and, and move from Lucas Joao. And at the other end, another amazing defensive performance, another clean sheet. And you've got to be proud of both of those aspects of it. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's very proud. I'm, I'm here trying to encourage our, our team to keep going and to connect the attack uh, and, and defence because it's going to be uh, very important. And uh, this is... This is, a, this is a marathon, right? And we're just moving in the right direction and we just have to keep our feet on the ground looking who's our next opponent and prepare for them, prepare ourselves and prepare for them. It's a bit of a cliche too. They often say teams that can, you know, not necessarily have the best games, like you say, the first half was sloppy at times, but still produce the results in the end, work out ways to win, adapt during the game and get the results, they're the ones that can go on to, to yeah. be very successful. To be honest, we were uh, a little bit anxious uh, the first half also because we wanted to get back and re-encounter with a, with a victory again, with a win uh, after the break and after the draw in, in Middlesbrough. Uh, for us, was uh, we, we were feeling a little bit um, we, uh, impatient also to to get back uh, with the win, uh, to get back in the mood that we had before the break. And that caused uh, sometimes the sloppiness we were talking about, but huge credit to the guys. Fantastic reaction in the second half, fantastic boost uh, coming from the bench. Uh, all three guys, uh, Semedo, uh, Tomas and uh, Tom McIntyre. So everyone is important on our team. And I want to, again, encourage everyone who is not participating uh, that much. To, to keep doing what they're doing so far, supporting the team and getting ready for their opportunity because it's going to come. And that opportunity, you know, if they do what those guys did off the bench and the guys in training, well, we've got another opportunity on, on Saturday against Rotherham. Back here again, another tough opposition, I'm sure. Another team that have just been promoted who will really bring a battle, I'm sure. Bravo, we will, we will get ready for them, definitely. Now we have a couple of days to recover. It, I think it's very important for our spirit, for our uh, mentality to this win, this game. And as I said, uh, it's going to be hard moving forward, but we, are, we will be ready.